I'm going to do this Grinch thing right now. <clears throat> Every Midgardian down in Midgardian Pill like Christmas a lot. But my brother, the god of mischief, Loki, who lived just north of Midgardian Pill, did not. Loki hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps his shoes were too tight, or perhaps that his head wasn't screwed on just right. But I think the most reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the Midgardians. Staring down from his cave with a sour Loki frown at the warm lighted town windows below the town. For he knew every Midgardian down in Midgardianville beneath was busy hanging and hanging a holy Midgardian wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, henchmen! He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he crawled with his mischievous fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas for, from coming. For tomorrow I know. All the Midgardian girls and boys will wake uh, bright and early. They'll rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise, oh, the noise... Noise, noise, noise. One thing Loki hated. Oh, the noise, 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 noise. And they'll squeal, and they'll shriek, squeaks, and squeals racing round on their wheels. Then the Midgardians, young and old, will sit down to a feast, and they'll feast. And they'll feast, and they'll feast, 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 feast. They'll feast on Midgardian pudding and rare Midgardian roast beast. Raw roast beast is a feast I can't stand in the least. And then they'll do something I hate most of all. Every Midgardian down in Midgardianville, the tall and the small, they'll stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. And they'll stand hand in hand, and those, those Midgardians will start singing. And they'll sing, and they'll sing, and they'll sing, sing, sing. And the more Loki thought of this whole Christmas thing, the more he thought, I must stop this whole thing. For, for over, why for over two, why for 2018 years I've put up with this now. I must stop Christmas from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. An awful idea. Loki had a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. Loki laughed in his throat. I'll make a quick Sandy Claus hat with a coat. And he chuckled and chuck and clucked. What a great mischievous thought! With this hat and this coat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. Loki looked around, but since reindeer are scarce, there was not one to be found. And, but did that stop Loki? Ha! Loki simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. Henchmen, you're my reindeer! <laughs> Silence! No complaining! Now get over here! <laughs> so Loki, so he took his henchmen, and he took some black thread, and tied, and tied a big horn on top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks and ramshackle on a ramshackle sleigh. 
and he whistled for his henchmen, and he called forth his henchmen. Then Loki said, Giddy up! <laughs> and the sleigh started down toward the home of the Midgardians, who, where the Midgardians lay a snoo in their town. Lay a snooze in their town. All the windows were dark. No one knew he was there. All the Midgardians were all sleeping sweet dreams without care when he came to the first house on the square this is stop number this is stop number one the old loki claws hissed he climbed to the roof and he he bags in his fist then he slid down the chimney a rather tight pinch but if santa could do it then so could loki he got stuck only once for a minute or two. Then he stuck his head out the fireplace, flew, flew where he, where he saw the Midgardian stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, Loki grinched, are the first, are the first to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant. All around the whole room, and he took every presence: pop guns, pampukas, plantukas, and drums, checkerboards, blitz, blitz, bigs, and popcorn and plums. And he stuffed them all in bags. And Loki, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. For then he slunk into the icebox. He slunk to the icebox and he took the Midgardian's feast. He took the he took the Midgardian pudding. He took the roast beast. He climbed out the ice block as quick as a flash. Why Loki then took the last can of Midgardian hash. And then he stuffed the food up the chimney with glee. Now, Loki grinned, grinned Loki, I will stuff up the tree. As Loki, as Loki stood, as Loki took the tree, as he started to shove, he heard a small sound, the sound and the coo of a duck. He turned around fast and saw a big green beast. The Incredible Hulk, who was no tall, who was no shorter than two feet tall. He was no shorter nor eight feet tall. He stared at Loki and said, Why you steal Christmas trees, Santa Claus? Me what presents under tree? Why? But you know... That old Loki Claus was so smart and slick, he thought up a lie and thought it up quick. Oh, incredible Hulk, the old fake Sandy Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side, so I'm taking it home to my workshop. I'll fix it up there, and I'll bring it back here. And, and his fib fooled the big beast. He patted his back and sent him to drink and gave him a drink and sent him to bed. And when the Incredible Hulk was in bed with his cup, he crept the chimney and stuck the tree up. Then he did the, then he did the same thing. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. And, he, and the last thing he took was the log for their fire. On the walls, and he left nothing but some hooks and some wire. And one speck of food in the, he left in the house was a crumb. That was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same to the other Midgardian houses, leaving crumbs even too small for their mouses. It was a quarter of dawn. All the Midgardians still abed. All the Midgardians 
All the Midgardians still there, and all the Midgardians still snoozed. When he packed his sled, he packed, packed it up with their presents, their ribbons, their wrappings, the snoop, their fuzzles, and their triangles and trapplings. Trapping. Ten thousand feet over Mount Frost Giant, and he rode. He rode his with his load, tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the guardians. He 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 was grinsly humming. They're finding out that no Christmas is coming. And I'm, they were, they're just waking up, and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two, then every Midgardian down in Midgardianville will cry, Boo hoo hoo! That's a noise, grinned Loki, I simply must hear. He passed it, he paused, and, and the god of mischief took a hand to the ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started low and it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded glad. Every Midgardian down in Midgardianville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. And Loki... And Loki, with his face ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then Loki thought of something he never thought before. Maybe Christmas, Loki thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means something a little bit more. And then what happened? And what happened then? Well, well, in Midgardianville, they say that Loki's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through. And the and Loki and the Grinch and, and the God of Mischief found strength the size of ten frost giants plus two. And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed down. He whizzed his load through the bright through the bright morning light, with a smile in his soul. He descended Mount Frost Giant. And surely blowing your savior is here with his trumpet and he rode to Midgardianville and he brought back their toys he brought back their floof he to the to the Midgardian girls and boys he brought back their snoo he brought back their triangle fuzzles he brought back their pantoucles he brought everything back and, and he brought back all the food for the feast. And he, he himself, Loki, the god of mischief, carved the, carved the roast beast with his spear. And Christmas Day is in our... Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer. Cheer to all Midgardians far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp. So long we have hands to grasp. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart and hand in hand. Thank you very much. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And Thor and Loki are owned by... Uh, Marvel and uh, The Grinch Zone was written by Dr. Seuss. Please support the official release.